Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to install a SATA SSD into this Dell Fostro laptop. For best practices, use an earth strap and connect the other side to an earth point. If you don't have such a thing, make sure to work in a static free environment. If you don't have an earth band, make sure to touch the ground with your bare hand prior to opening the laptop. The first step is to remove the power. Make sure the unit has powered off. Remove any peripherals such as a USB dongle or a memory card. Flip the unit over and there are star screws on the back. These two screws over here do not come out completely. Notice that once I've unscrewed that screw, the screw remains inside but it does lift this back cover. Use this as the starting point to remove the back cover with a pry tool. So I take the pry tool and I just go like this along the side. If you do not have a pry tool, you can use your fingernail. For example, I'm using a nail to pry open the side. I use my fingers along the sides to pry open the back cover. For best practices, use a pry tool. Once all the sides have been loosened, you can now lift off the back cover. I locate the battery connector and there is a tab here which I can pull towards me. So I grab it with a balanced force and I pull towards me like that and I've now disconnected the battery. This is where the SATA drive is going to go, but I need to remove one, two, three, four screws. Once the screws have been removed, you can remove this frame. On the underside of the unit, you'll notice there's four supplied screws. Those screws are going to be used to screw the frame onto the SATA drive. Remove these four screws. Remove the sticker holding the SATA header. Note that the header requires a SATA drive to lie upside down. That means I need to also put it in the frame in that orientation. So there it's inserted in the frame upside down and now I can just insert those four screws which I took out under the tape. One, two, three, four screws now screwed in. Now I can insert the header. Notice the orientation. Now I just need to return the four screws that hold the frame in place. Now it's time to plug in the battery. Notice there's a ridge there and a ridge there. Those slide into the gaps over there, taking a balanced force in a horizontal motion. So I'm going away from me and I take both my fingers and I pinch this plug back into its housing. It is now fully inserted. Right, replace the back cover, keeping in mind the cutouts for the hinges. Using a balanced force starting from the middle, I just depress the back cover. So I just press it down along the sides. Now keeping in mind these screws are protruding out so I just need to screw them in quickly. While I'm screwing it in I press it down. Take your palms and just squeeze all around the sides like this. The back cover should have no gaps along the travel. Return all the screws. Make sure all the screws are in place and you can now turn on your laptop. If you turn on the machine and the time and date is incorrect, when you boot up to Windows, just go to the settings and press the Sync Now button to sync your time and date. Thanks for watching and cheers.